Louisiana. Um, it's not a very big river, but it has a lot of browns in it. Um, it's pretty deep in the spots that I'm going right now. This is what it looks like. This is where we're at. The river's right down there. Um, you can only use fake bait on this river. Um, unless you're under 14, then you can use worms and stuff. So I'm going to be using spinners. Uh, mostly rooster tail spinners. Those are uh, those are my favorite. This road's a little rough, so if I'm if my voice sounds a little funny, that's why. Hoping we can get into some good browns and make a nice video for you guys to watch and enjoy. And hopefully you learn some some new things, new techniques, new styles that I use. And if you have any questions, please feel free to. Uh, message me on Facebook or on the YouTube video or whatever you'd like. That'd be great. It's actually hunting season right now um, here in Montana. Rifle season. I was passing a bunch of people that were hunters. Um, I kind of like hunting or fishing in the rifle season because most people aren't fishing. They're usually hunting. So you usually get the, the river or the lake or the, the spot that you're wanting to go. It's usually just all you. Nobody's usually there. All right, we're here. Let's see if we can't get some fish. Um, water, or I don't know about the water temperature, but the air temperature is about 35 right now. So it's pretty chilly. Not too bad. It's been raining actually the last couple days, so it's nice. Not not raining anymore. Um, I fished this spot before. It was very good the last couple times. I'm going to be using today. It's a rooster tail, one eighth of an ounce. Um, it's not a very big river, so there's not huge fish in it, but it's really good. I'm using rooster tail. Um, it's kind of got the rainbow trout pattern. Seems to be what works the best. Go ahead and Throw that bad boy on. There it is. There. Got my finger. So I like using a swivel with these. That way it doesn't twist up the line. That is where we're gonna be fishing. Right there. It's got some real deep holes. Um, there's some logs down and stuff over here, deep holes, and then it comes over this way. You can see fish are hitting right there, already on the top. That's a good sign. Last year I was here about this time and it was like every other cast I was catching fish. Man, there's something real interesting over there. It's like every other cast I was catching something, so uh, hoping, hoping this year is going to be the same. Um, I really like this spot because up, up that way it kind of, it goes uphill, so when it comes down, it's coming down quick and then it stops and then it's nice and slow. So it seems like that's where they're hanging out and uh, hopefully we can get in on some fish. Let's see what happens first cast. Oh yeah, <laughs> right at the shore. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, slow down. Come on. Jeez, look at that. Nice little brown. Gracious little thing. Little brown. See you later, buddy. 
<laughs> That's cool. First cast. Wow. Let's see what happens on cast number two. Nope, nothing on that one. So this is the reel I'm using. Um, yeah, I know it's a push button. <laughs> it's a Zebco uh, Delta. Um, it's a five bearing system. It's actually one of their top of the line ones. I think I paid like $64 for it. Uh, it's very nice. I love it in these small rivers using a, a uh, closed face push button rod because it's kind of just, I don't know, it's less hassle, less, I don't know, less problems. Um, if I was in a big river, bigger river, a lake, or something like that, I would use a spin caster. Or if I was going for bass, I would use a uh, bait caster. But this thing works great in smaller streams like this where I'm coming around uh, a lot of trees and cover and brush and stuff. It seems to, I don't know, it helps me out. It seems to work well. A little brown. <laughs> Yo. Oh no, this is a rainbow. It's the first rainbow I ever caught out of here. Nice little bow. Nice little rainbow. These are actually catch and release here on this lake, uh, this river. Because there's not very many of them. So, this is the first one I ever caught here. I'm gonna go ahead and put her back. <laughs> That's cool. One nice little brown <laughs> yep nice little brown one this one's a little bit bigger in size and that last one looks, looks like it it's another nope that's a brown yep another it's a decent sized one a little bit bigger than the last one got my next one it's going crazy. About the same size as the last one. Nice little brown. Oh, there we go. Got one. same hole but just kind of on the other side of it Oh yeah, there we go. Nice hit. Nice. There's some more brown. That's a good one. It's a good sized one right there. Good brown. Oh yeah. Nice brown trout. Yeah. There we go. Nice brown. See you later, buddy. 
That one was funny. My uh, so my spinner got stuck, and I was like, "Oh man, it's stuck!" So I was jerking on it, trying to get it to come unstuck from itself, because it wasn't spinning. And then, wham! The thing came out of nowhere and just hit it. That was a cool one. It was interesting. My next fish. Next brown. Oh, nope. Spit the hook. All right, just had some lunch. Now I'm back out the river. It's a little bit of a different spot. Drove down a little bit farther. Um, while I was sitting here eating lunch, they're uh, hitting the top of the water. So obviously they're here and they're feeding. So let's see if we can get some. Good size one right here. Oh, yeah. Nice brown. Oh crap. Get him out of these weeds. Come on, what the heck? Alright, well, I think that's it. That's all I got today. I'm gonna go home and hang out, get ready for the work week. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, me catching these browns and uh, that one rainbow trout that was pretty cool because it's not very common on this river. And I uh, hope you subscribe and watch more of my videos and leave a comment down, down below of what you think, if you liked it, you didn't like it, whatever. And I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time. Haze Camp Outdoors. What up?